Tomorrow will mark four years since former Wasika police officer Eric Matson was nearly killed in the line of duty. Tonight, a new documentary about his story of recovery and perseverance premiered at a movie theater in Owatonna. Maury Glover just returned from speaking with Matson and his wife about the film. He joins us now from the newsroom with more on this. Maury? Well, Eric Matson calls the anniversary of the day he was shot his alive day, the day he got a second chance at life. And this year, he is marking the occasion in a new way. I don't think it'll be difficult. I'm just really excited to see it all. Most movie premieres are surrounded by an air of excitement. But for Eric Matson, watching the most difficult days of his life play out on the silver screen is a surreal experience. There's another way that we can look back at this life-changing event and, and celebrate it. A new documentary called The Weight of the Crown chronicles the night of January 6, 2020, when Madsen was shot in the head while responding to a call of a suspicious person in Wasika. It also highlights Matson's recovery and the challenges he and his wife faced during his rehabilitation during COVID-19. It goes through like that night and that's pretty emotional to have to relive that and hear that, especially from the officer's point of view. The 65-minute film also shows Madsen as he takes a once-in-a-lifetime trip to Alaska to successfully hunt one of the rarest ducks in North America, the King Eider. The excursion was organized by Hometown Hero Outdoors, a Twin Cities organization that gives veterans and first responders an adventure of their choosing, which motivated Madsen during his rehab. The trip was, it was really treacherous conditions. But I was there with my uncle and my best buddy, so it was all very worth it. The Madsons hope sharing their story shows the world what law enforcement can go through in the blink of an eye and helps them both heal. He's not forgotten. He'll never be forgotten. And we're just going to keep listening to what God wants us to do next. And we're excited to see where this takes us. Now, tonight's premiere was a private screening for family, friends, and the people who've been involved in Eric's recovery. There will be public screenings at the Northwoods 10 Cinema in Owatonna tomorrow morning, and the doc will be available on YouTube tomorrow as well. In the newsroom, Maury Glover, Fox 9.